Well, hey friends, we are back to our last box in this collection. Done some pretty nice stuff in it so far. And uh, we're gonna get it checked in, get it on the site as fast as we can. So starting us off, we've got a pair of Warhammer Fantasy roleplay items. We've got Power Behind the Throne and the Warhammer City Books hardcovers. These are the old Games Workshop ones, which are not as common as, say, the Hogshead stuff. A, uh, always good to get Horror on the Orient Express box set from Kiosium. Last one I had didn't last a couple days before it was gone. Glorantha box set from Avalon Hill for RuneQuest. Something Rotten in Kislev, Games Workshop for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. Complete Dreamlands from Call of Cthulhu, Chaosium. Book of Vile Darkness, 3.5, D&D. Book of Exalted Deeds. 3.5 3.5 Monster Manual 3.0 Savage Species and a first edition Earth Dawn book from FASA soft cover Player's Handbook 3.5 Sold the one I had in stock, so that's good timing. Greyhawk Adventures, hardcover, first edition D&D. And now we are uh, pretty much into modules and stuff. Uh, the box up here, Gods of Glorantha, Avalon Hill. And let's see, what can we get into first? Let's unpack these. time. Yeah, darn it. These all have the dings too. Uh, D10. Uh, the Dragons of Dreams. D12 with the counters unpunched. Uh, DLC3, the Dragonlance Classics. Uh, volume 3. DL4 and DL3. DL3. And they both got dinged on one corner. Man, that's going to bother me now. That is just a shame. Maybe there's some that did not. It is what it is, you know, these were well packed. It wasn't, uh, it was just, uh, got the, got the ding on the corner. I'm just gonna go out these on the side, make it a little easier. And then we got a 3.0 item that's always in demand. Uh, Return to the Temple of Elemental Evil. Good one doesn't have the map. Yes, it does. We got the master's books, they're kind of worn. The companion books, also pretty worn. No boxes. The expert rule book, it goes with the box, the X1 module. We had that in one of the other boxes. And so we 
we've got a batch of the 3.0 module speaker and dreams a x6 quagmire a dlc one dragonlance classics volume one the map dlc dl6 dragons of ice DL2, Dragons of Flame. DL7, Dragons of Light. Forge of Fury, 3.0, and Standing Stone for UK4, Luna Star Falls, DA1, Adventures in Blackmore, with the map, a B10, I believe I knew this did not have the counters with it, B10, Night Stark Terror, I think I've got some counters, not an unpunched sheet unfortunately, it looks, yeah, it looks like the rest of it's there, B Solo, and man that is clean, Ghost of Lion Castle. Another copy of L2. And a Grenadier Cloudland module. B11 King's Festival, a B12, uh, B12 Queen's Harvest. The two, uh, those two are very tough to get. Some La Citadel 3.0, a OA3, OA3 Ochimo Spirit Warrior, a B4 The Lost City. This is a Mark of Amber book only. A very clean copy of D1 to 2, sent to the depths of the earth. And then a S4 Lost Caverns of to So Camp. And that one's in really nice shape, too. That's interesting. No staple rust. Wow, that one's super clean. A couple more bundles here. I'm getting to the end. Okay, got some more goodies. Doesn't have it. This does. So WGA1 Falcon's Revenge with the, the sheets uncut. Another shrink wrapped item. This is G Gazetteer number 13, the Shadow Elves in the original shrink. Definitely that's original. C2, Ghost Tower of Inverness, and DA3, City of the Gods. And that's in pretty good shape, but does have some scuffing to the cover. So another shrink-wrapped item. That's awesome. All right, a nice good item here. We got WGR1, Greyhawk Ruins. That one's in pretty clean shape. Uh, N1, the Against the Cult of the Reptile God. Silver Anniversary, White Plume Mountain. X5, Temple of Death. A Slave Lords module with the booklet. Again, Scourge of the Slave Lords, A1 to 4. And our final batch of 
this collection. Looks like some uh, RuneQuest stuff, actually. So we've got the uh, Gloranthan Bestiary. These are all Avalon Hill titles. Snake Pipe Hollow. Into the Troll Realms. The Goofy Apple Lane module. The Duck. And the Haunted Ruins. This is the RuneQuest version, not the standalone version. So that's it. Loving this shrink wrapped um, Shadow Elves Gazetteer. Everything else is in nice shape. We'll get it all cataloged and we'll get it up. And hopefully soon we'll have another collection for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.